always remember good apiary hygiene. It's always the best practice. Right, I 14. Last week I separated the brood box with the queen excluder. Uh, chased the queen down, hopefully chased the queen down, but we'll find out. In here. I'll separate these few frames. I know there was brood in here, so I'm going to check from this one on. I should only find capped brood and no eggs. Cat brood. And no eggs yet. Obviously look for the queen too. What's the drone brood? Lots of drone brood. A sign of things to come. One effective way of releasing drones that are trapped in the super is to wedge a pen or pencil under the corner of the super just above the queen excluder. This opens up a gap big enough for the drones to escape. You may need to do this more than once over the following week just to release all the drones that are hatching. Principally what I'm doing here is using the sun to light up the bottom of the cells. Only then I can make sure there are no egg or larvae there indicating no queen present. I am also taking this opportunity to look at the cells within the frame, the capped cells, some of the uncapped cells, looking at the health of the larvae, look how they're developing, uh, the capped brood, see if there's any perforations, if there's any waxy or sunken tops or perforated tops, these are all indications of disease. Now that I've finished my examination of the super, I'm just consolidating all the frames, making sure the self-spacing frames are all together and everything's equidistant before my next part of the examination. I think what I'm going to do here is a double check. I don't see any evidence of eggs or young larvae, but just to double, just to double check, I'm actually going to go into the brood box. I can, what I can do, because there is no queen here, what I can do is I can knock them back, but then a lot of bees will be flying about, or I can lay it down at the entrance so any bees can fly up. I'm not interested in the first two or three frames, because I know nothing will be on them. I'll quickly open them up, and I really want to investigate maybe from this frame onwards. Please.
plenty pollen, but no eggs. I have plenty brood here, cat brood, and if I look very closely I see eggs of all stages, can't see the queen, but that's okay. I'm happy that I see fresh eggs, I see larvae here extending out to fresh eggs. So I know the queen is downstairs, that just confirms my hopes. One last, one last frame. Huge amount of brood, no queen, huge amount of brood and eggs and larvae and just a couple of drone cells. So I'm going to consolidate the whole thing up knowing it's a viable hive. Everything nice and even, all equidistant, spaces at the side are perfect. Get these bees in. Good tip. If you hold that corner you feel it's square and you hold the opposite corner you feel it's square. If these two are square, you're square. Again, square, square, perfect. 